this is Hollywood Today Digital Edition, instantly tweetable at official HTL and readily Facebookable. Everything is a bull today. <laughs> um, it's just Hollywood Today Live on Facebook, all one word. I'm Kristen Brogman. And I'm Amanda Salas. Our next guest is a model, a singer, and a television star. <gasps> and you can catch her on the second season of the W Network's Shannon and Sophie. Take a look. Good choice in the restaurant. Thank you. Are you cold? Do you want some tea? Or... Uh, I'm good, but yeah, I'll have some tea. Come in. Just, um, stop it. Sorry. Oh. Wow. Oh, really? Oh, boots, boots. Oh, wow. Sorry. We were playing with the dog. <laughs> Busted! Oh, Busted! Please welcome Sophie Simmons. Oh. Okay, how many times growing up did you walk in on your parents? Thankfully, not until that moment. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. I feel like it would have scarred so you weren't me earlier. Scarred you yeah, just now, from now on. How many times has the dog walked in on that moment? I imagine a lot. That's a, <laughs> that's a different story. That's a whole different story. Oh, man. Okay, well, tell us, what is it like? I mean, you've been doing reality TV, you did Family Jewels. Now this is the second season you've yeah. been doing um, Shannon and Sophie, or Sophie and Shannon? Shannon and Shannon Sophie. And I want to make sure I get be Sophie and Shannon. the right oh. order. Oh, mama. <laughs> um, is there anything you won't put on reality television? Any part of your life you won't go there? I mean, I feel like especially in this day and age when everything is shared on social media, there's not much of a difference between like Instagramming everything you do all day and right. then having it filmed. Everything is a Vine or a tweet right. or something like that. So I just think the most important thing is when you're showing parts of your life that it's honest and it's what your life really is like because there's so many reality shows out there that just show what they would like to be portrayed as mm -hmm. and then it gives their viewers like a false idol to look up to and try and emulate. Yeah, that's true. You're acting. You're right. Essentially. You're really close with your mom, both on screen and off screen. Now, I know you're close with your mom. Uh -huh. I'm close with my mom. What are the perks and the perils of working side by side with your mom? Uh, I mean, my mom is my best friend, so she knows everything, which is good and it's bad because right. she will. OK, so how like how 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 nasty of stories am I allowed to tell? Like decently? Oh, yeah. yeah, go for Amazing. it. Go for it. <laughs> OK, yeah. so I was dating this guy. One of my first boyfriends, and well, that makes me sound young. No, I was 19. So one of my first you real long-term boyfriends, and we nicknamed him the Bat because he played professional baseball and he was well endowed. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. So that's the Bat. Yes, the Bat. So we take him to dinner with my parents, and I've told my mom everything, obviously about the Bat. Everything. About the Bat. Okay. So we sit. And my dad goes, oh, this is the bat. <gasps> and I'm like, no! Did he <laughs> no! Know? But did he know that's what that meant? Oh, he had no idea that's what we called him. Oh, okay. And so he, like, we didn't call him by his name to the family. We just called him the bat. The bat. So then it was all. It and then you're like, oh, no, it's, it's honey because, you know. I baseball. was like, because yes, of baseball, baseball, because of baseball. No, I meant, like, you know, the one that flies around. <laughs> and this is like a family dinner, like mom, dad, me, my brother, his girlfriend at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. So wow. there's, like, no boundaries whatsoever. The Awful. bat. That's and good, And my though. dad obviously had no idea that we were referring to his Well, that's what I'm saying. Did he right. know that that's so what he was saying? So my mom thinks when... it's, like, the funniest thing ever because he thinks it's about baseball. <laughs> it so is. does the guy. Me sure. and her know that it's about a penis. It's, like, terrible. Inside joke with mom. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you think you'll ever stop doing reality TV if they keep offering? Because your family is so interesting and your life is so interesting. Do you think you would ever come to a time where you would say, I'm ready to move on from that? I mean, I think, I think I'm pretty used to it. And I think it, it's a good platform to get positive messages out there, which a lot of people don't do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I live a pretty healthy lifestyle. Like, I mean, I eat pizza and candy, but I'm pretty healthy. And I feel like it's just good to have people on TV that are real with who their viewers are. And I mean, I, I don't think there's a point where I would be like, get out, I've had enough. Because like at this point, you've seen literally the worst of the worst <laughs> that could possibly happen. So. Yeah, and it doesn't seem as you know dramatic as Real Housewives or anything like that. It seems like you said you're being yourself and real. Yeah, and, we're, we're, we're you know. family. We're not going right. to like flip a table or like right. each other. Like we just <laughs> but some families would. Some they families would. will. Well, back to what you were saying and promoting a positive message, you are actually doing a very good job at that. Yes. Um, yeah. Bravo. Yes. That.
Thanks, you are very into promoting a positive body image. Yeah. And we just saw on your Instagram when we were looking, you posted your measurements the other day. My measurements. Your Bravo. real, yeah. true Bravo. measurements. And yeah. That takes a lot of guts, especially in this day and age. Um, what, what is it that made you want to kind of be a voice for that? Uh, I mean, growing up, like, my mom was a model, so she was, like, a really unrealistic view of what women should be, but she was naturally tall and slender, and I, I want to, like, be very clear that when I say promote positive body image, I'm not trying to, like, thin shame or fat shame. It's just whatever shape you're the most healthy at, that's what you should be promoting for yourself. Yeah. So growing up, she was very thin, and I always tried to emulate that, but I got more of, like, my dad's side of the family body shape. We're, like, more curvy. We have boobs. We have a butt. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't realistic for me, and I think growing up on TV actually helped me kind of understand what my body looked like from an outside perspective and how people perceived that, and it gave me a chance to really get comfortable with how I looked and to be okay with it because it's something that you can't change, really. Absolutely. And that's not to say I'm against plastic surgery or anything like that. If that makes you happy, like, go for it. I think mm -hmm. you should do just whatever makes you happy always. Yeah, you use, okay. you, I agree. And you use the hashtag, hashtag flaws are in and hashtag real women. So yeah. I don't want to put you on the spot, but we can name a flaw about ourselves, right? Oh my, yeah. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, but I want to be clear that it's what you think of you, flaws. Right, yeah. exactly, not what other yes. people say. Correct. Okay, so one of my flaws, I. And Pinky knows I have baby hairs here. Oh, word. Word, word. right? Word on so, baby hairs. Oh, these are Hashtag things. baby hairs, big pain. No I'm yeah. saying? Okay, well, I have, okay. It appears I have a really nice smile, but really I have this ghetto to dental implant back here that I need to get a new one. And, and this tooth is still a baby tooth and it's gonna fall out soon and I have to get another one. And on top of that, I'll give you a special flaw of the day, this mountain that's growing on my chin that this lighting isn't showing you the real case and it's covered in makeup. But there is a mountain in there. And I had to put oh. a lot of flaws around because I get really shiny early, especially the T-zone. Hashtag flaws are in. Hashtag yes. flaws are in. Flaws that. are in and on your face. So. <laughs> I love uh, it. And what most people think that they have a flaw, other people actually really like. like. That's true. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, a lot of people gave Sarah Jessica Parker flack for never getting a nose job. And I think it looks amazing. I do, too. That is her signature, and I don't think she should change it. That's and true. That's you know, it's all up to who, what you personally feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, well, if you want one, go for it. If you don't, tell everyone to go shove off. It's okay, the internet. Yeah. The internet, you can do it. One yeah. man's flaws, another man's pleasure. Exactly. <laughs> Why not? Why well, not? on top of the the, the reality and acting, and, the, and uh, I mean, not acting, modeling and clothing design, you also have an EP coming out. I do. Hey. Hey. So, as a believer in doing everything that makes you happy, I don't think that women, especially now in this day and age, can limit themselves to just one thing. I think we're all slash girls. We're all yeah, you know, career driven and we're all doing modeling and acting and writing and whatever we want to be. So I don't think you could just have to be a TV personality. You can be whatever you want to and you can be as many as you want to. So I really enjoy music and I started writing about a year ago and I'm gonna put out an EP and if people like it, that's amazing. And if they don't, then it was really just for me anyway. Is your dad going to make any appearances on the album? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to be laying down some I'm sure he would love to. <laughs> I love, I love, love, love my family, but it's definitely a different style of music than yeah, he used to. Definitely. Wow. Nice. Okay, well, we look forward to that. And then also, real quick before we yeah. want to go, I want to mention you have something very interesting coming up with the Style Club. Style Club. I do, you look yeah. Look doing it, singing So you're designing, TV. slash yeah. designing. Slash designer, slash music. 10, 14, 14. Yes. Yes, so maybe when that comes out, you can come back here and, and show us some of your stuff. Yeah, because I tried yeah. to look online, but I, you have to it's, sign you know, up. It's very sneaky. It's, it's not up yet. Yeah, so yeah. we'll look forward to that. Well, thank, thank you so you. much for coming. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, guys. Yeah, thank you. And you guys, be sure to check out Sophie's EP as well as her show, Shannon and Sophie, on the W Network. And girl, thank you for coming. Yes, out. thank you. You guys want to stay with us because Alan Maldonado of The Equalizer and the hit, the hit FX series, You're the Worst, is here. You can check him out on Hollywood Today Live. Digital edition. Yeah.